and now we introduce to you the most popular guy in the soil and groundwater remediation project, Dean Nesham, the resin guy. Hi, I'm here at the K-West Pump and Treat facility, one of about a dozen facilities here at the site. Behind me you can see a series of vessels filled with ion exchange resin that are used to treat contaminants in groundwater. It's called ion exchange because one ion is exchanged or traded for another. An ion is an atom or molecule in which the total number of electrons is not equal to the total number of protons, giving it a net positive or negative electric charge. The resin, which looks like this, works like a magnet. It attracts the contaminant ions, leaving the water free of contamination. So you can't see what's going on here or here. So let's go to the lab where I can show you how this works. Come on. Let me show you how this ion exchange resin works. This container is going to represent the, the contaminated groundwater. We'll add the contamination in a minute. The tubing here represents the extraction wells that deliver the contaminated groundwater to the pump and treats. This column represents the blue ion exchange columns in the, in the pump and treat building. The yellow is the ion exchange resin. This tubing represents the injection wells that deliver the treated process water back into the groundwater system. Now the only thing left to do is to contaminate this groundwater. In this case, it's copper. Now let's get this mini pump and treat started and get this groundwater cleaned up. You can see that the resin turns from amber to green when the contamination is removed from the water. Right now you can see the contamination is being removed because the water exiting the column is clear. On average it takes 30 to 45 minutes for treatment at the pump and treats before water is re-injected into the earth. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Dean Nesham, the, the Resin Guy. guy.